How's it going, boys and girls? Welcome to Cyberman React. Today we're looking at hidden secrets that casinos don't want you to know. So, oh, oh. Uh, any predictions? Is there like a hidden strategy? Yes, there's probably there's probably magnets under roulette balls and all sorts. I reckon. Mm. They always know there's like four thousand cameras in a space of like ten meters. Yeah, and they're on your ass constantly. Day. There was there was a woman. I, I went to go see her the other day just for a laugh. And there was a, well, in the nice way possible, a crackhead who was trying to bet her money. <laughs> and she obviously bet on, like, I, I can't actually, I don't know if she was in the right or the wrong, but she bet a load of money on, like, I think she put it, to put it on number and he put it on, like, something else. Or, like, I don't right. know what he'd done, but basically she the, the number came in and she was freaking out, like, oh, what? And they won't give her the money and there was a load of beef and it, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. They the, the camera was, and check the check microphones and shit. Yeah, they checked the microphone and everything. And apparently she said something wrong, I don't know, but I felt for her, poor woman. She was about when like 80 quid or something, she was gassed. All right, let's go. If it seems like the house always wins in Vegas, it's probably because it does. And that's mm -hmm. not by accident. Addiction Ooh. is a science at casinos. Casinos work very hard to get you on the floor and to keep you there. Oh, no windows Research for papers, books, yeah. and yeah. even conventions have worked to understand what the best layout of the casino floor is and what keeps people shelling out the big bucks. It is a maze, to be fair. It's always hard to get around them. Right. It's hard to get out. <laughs> Research has found, for example, that fast music and red lights make gamblers bet at a faster pace. <laughs> Women tend to spend more when the casino floor is less crowded. And a nice scent right. pumped through the vents might encourage a gambler to play that slot machine just one more time. That's mental. Ooh. Odds vary from casino to casino. The romantic right. concept of a proper Vegas vacation primarily revolves around experiencing the Strip. Yeah. From its luxurious hotels to its glamorous casinos. Yeah, but how can the odds change? Because you can't, like, you wouldn't, like, win more on... You're gonna get better odds at a roulette on a different place. Okay, but yeah, not a roulette probably, but on like slots, I guess. Those located in less touristy parts of town, most notably North Las Vegas and the Boulder Strip, try to lure gamblers in the know with considerably better odds. Oh, so we can go and get better odds at uh, Fremont. 96.61 in North Las Vegas and just 91.52 at the Vegas Strip. Oh boys, we've been we've been bamboozled. We've got we, we five five percent more chance. Riley Magduff. Good gamblers want full tables. You might assume that an expert gambler would want to make their experience at the tables as isolated, remote, and individually focused as possible, given that distractions like inexperienced gamblers and excess chatter would seem unwelcome. For the savvy few that think deeply while they play, however, more players at a table slows down the game and offers more thinking time. Sure. On top of that, mm. complimentary rewards are typically tied to the amount of a time a gambler spends inside the casino. So. Longer hands extend one stay without forcing them to risk more money and bring the prospect ah. of free meals and accommodations closer yeah. to fruition. Mm. Casinos okay. are making blackjack harder. Is that because they're banning card counting? Well, they've already banned it. I feel like it's kind of outrageous they banned it, you know? You should be able to do it, I'd argue. Why? Because you're not you're not cheating, you're just like... It's a skill, I guess. How can they... How can they and also, how can they prove that you're doing it? I guess it's kind of obvious if you're doing it, but like... <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> you got to be so good at doing it that you don't make it bait you're doing it. Yeah. 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 In the past few years, many casinos have quietly gone about lowering the payout on hitting blackjack from three to two to six to five. <laughs> In other words, if you bet $10 on a hand and draw an ace and a face card, you will now only come away with $12 where you once took home 15 That's While there Whoa, should be visible yeah. placards to explain what the payout is, they can sometimes use complicated language or be in deliberately hard to view areas. Feel free to ask the dealer what the payout actually is. Free drinks come at a cost. Yep. You have to win an awful lot of money to duplicate the triumphant sensation of finding a server with a tray of complimentary drinks to offer you while you try to work <laughs> your magic on the casino floor. For some, free alcohol is an integral part of the gambling experience. <laughs> Unfortunately for most, that gambling experience winds up being a losing one. You could just go and have pre drinks there. If you just sit and bet like a couple quid every now and then, and then when the complimentary drinks come around, you just nab a load of them. But they're complimentary drinks think... where you're expected to tip anyway, so it ends up being that you pay for them. It's more than a couple quid, bug. I think you've got a. Yeah, but nah, <laughs> like... but if, if, I, if I'm going with the intention of not gambling, I'm saying I'm just going there to get as drunk as possible without spending less money, I reckon you get you get more drunk there than you would at uh, a bar or anything, because they, they, try, they, they make the drinks strong, so you bet more money. Uh, I think I'm onto something there. It's a, it's a bow strategy. Want the drinks to keep flowing so as to impair judgment and decision-making skills. In some ways, you could argue that it is the losses born out of inebriated gamblers that have been shuffled back into the casino's coffers to cover for those free drinks. Mm, the big, scam. shiny wheel sucks you in. Yeah. 
They are ever present in just about every casino. That big shiny wheel that screams for attention and serves as a stunning visual centerpiece in an area full Sorry, of eye-catching sights. Favorite. They look like fun and all, but guarantee that nearby spectators will be watching you play. These machines also happen to carry the biggest house edge of any machine in the room. Yeah. Sure, it's exciting when you win, but those wins come few and far between, while folks with less snazzy machines in less central spots within the casino gain a better shot at instant riches. Mm, Baccarat is well good done. for beginners. The game of Baccarat, Baccarat has long been associated with wealth and royalty, often oh, being perceived crap. as a game for kings, oh, yeah. queens, and James Bond. In a season two episode of Family Guy, Peter, looking to adapt the persona of a wealthy aristocrat, replies to an <laughs> invite to play the card game with the quip, right Baccarat at you. But ha. lest any commoners feel alienated by the high rolling <laughs> reputation of the game, it is actually an easy game to play with little skill required. Few insightful decisions to make, and best of all, better odds against the dealer than the card game. Yeah. Yeah. Larger chips make losing more Alright, well I guess we'll pose a back around You'll notice in many casinos that you are now encouraged to take larger chips rather than smaller ones. Mm. At best, casino patrons can view these chips as a fun accessory to their gambling experience that makes them appear to be bigwigs. Touch AJ. He had the thousand dollar chip and he brought it home. When he took it back, it was like out of date. It was the old way, so he couldn't give him the money. <laughs> the larger chips often distinct psychological edge. It seems easier to throw down a single $25 chip than it does to count out five $5 chips. So the temptation is always there to bet more than you might really want to. Identical machine? Different odds. Regular gamblers are adamant creatures of habit, often carrying superstitions that tie them to very structured, restrictive gambling experiences. They know how much they want to bet, which machines they want to use, and what little idiosyncratic patterns they want to follow. But maybe there's more to it than simple superstition. Machines that all look the same might actually differ in a very important way. Okay. They might pay different right. returns for certain winning hands. Boys, if you ever see me on the slot machines, just end me. I think I've probably hit my, my <laughs> a dark hour at that point. I always thought whenever I walk in, you just see the old people on the, the, the slot machines just going like ding, ding. I'm like, ugh. They spend thousands and thousands. Well, according to this, they got better odds though, so. I stopped gambling. I just don't do it anymore. I, lo I love the fun. The fun when the fun stops, stop. In the past, like twenty times, I've been Hippodrome Casino. Twenty times you've been to Hippodrome, Mike. Got, you got a, you got a problem, brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've not gambled once. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. I, I, it's a restaurant to me. <laughs> Just here for the vibes, bro. It's a it's a four a.m. restaurant. True, egg fried rice has slaps. Get some egg fried rice at four a.m. Yep, tell them the egg fried exactly. rice slaps. <laughs> Security is everywhere, even if you don't see them. Casinos mm. know that there would probably be no greater buzzkill in a gambling environment than seeing a constant stream of intense, joyless, stern-faced authorities to make patrons feel watched and uncomfortable. You know there is some level of supervision on the casino grounds, but you can immerse yourself at the slots or tables without sensing any looming presence of casino officials over your shoulder. Now, this doesn't mean that they aren't there. In fact, every casino has their own set of law enforcement officers who are posed as guests. Really? Oh. These gambler watchers will typically move around the room, placing small bets at different tables without being overly invested in their oh. ways. The fucking undercover police officer just puts all his money down on like a red or something, <laughs> wins like 100k. He's like, yes! Well, I assume that's just. Fuck this job. The, the, ho the hotel's probably comping that, innit? So, really, it really doesn't really matter. Bye, everyone! Bye!